Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Feathers again today. Uh, and I'm tying a milky dream. Very easy milk fish fly. Um, as always, the list of uh, materials will be in the description, uh, along with some links to social media and uh, my Patreon if you fancy going over to support the channel. That would be great, thanks. So, the hook I'm using is a size 2 and my Katsu SL12. And I'm trying to search chartreuse version, I had an olive version in the vise there, but I finished them. And I'm going to run on some chartreuse thread, but halfway in the shank. Trim away my waist. Then I'll come back to the midpoint of my thread and I'll take a small bunch of white calf tail um, you know this sort of supports the help support the wool but also might look like a polychaete or something to the milk fish, I know they eat them so that's a possibility and I'll just measure that so it's just coming back behind the bend I'll tie that down. And trim away the waist. Then I'll just do the same with a bunch of chartreuse. In that out. Just offer it in on top, pinch and loop, tie it back there. Just make sure you trim all the waist away. At this stage, just to add a bit of durability, I like to. Uh, you stick a wee bit of super glue over the thread wraps. While I prepare my wheel, that will dry. So, Chartreuse Rams wheel. Just get a brush. And take a reasonable clump so that when you put it tight, it's about more well, the thickness of a pencil. Trim it close to the hide and then I'll cut it oh, about twice the length of what I want the overall finish size to be. So I've cut that just over an inch there. I'm just going to slightly taper the cut end. So that I don't know that ugly square cut edge. Just touch that just to make sure the glue's dry. And then what it is, I just offer this up so that the wool's just a bit covering the just a bit covering the calf tail, and then I roll it around the shank. Take a couple of turns, so I just to grip it, just to hold it, then make sure it's nicely spread, and then fold these ends back, and come in front and tie in front of them, not over them. That will give you a sort of puffier, uh, wispier finish, sort of reminiscent of a tuft of algae. So, build up a neat little head, and then it's just a case of whip finishing it. Just 
it twice. Trim away your waist. And then super glue the thread wraps. Make sure you don't touch the, the wool or nothing. And then they'll just come in with a wee bit of head cement over the top of that just to seal it. And there you go. That's it, the Milky Dream. Very simple flight to tie. One of the sort of staples of the guys that are out targeting milkfish. Um, so I hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. Tight lines. Bye.